Speaking of tight ends, you played the position. Are you rooting for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift or what? Yeah. I mean, I I think it's hilarious. And I do find, like, <laughs> Travis and his brother, like, wildly entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, you know? If he can she's kind of, dusting him though. The way he's the way he's talking already. She's like, I'm. I can't have that nonsense in my life. Well, where like, is she's, she? She's probably in South America right now or something. I, I, I don't even know where her tour you is. You gotta but keep she, things on her. It's just the yeah. same as the thousand bucks, Luke. If you were dating somebody <laughs> high profile, you keep it under wraps. I Although agree. Although in that. in that environment with with as famous as both of the, it's very difficult. But I would never be talking about her on a podcast. Or exactly. having anyone else talk about it because you know she's catching wind of that and being like, this guy's a pigeon, man, talking about me, begging <laughs> me to come to the stadium. Come on. Yeah, and, and to add to that, oh, dog, where I kind of go and is also like right now they're one and one outside of Patrick Mahomes. You know, he was obviously hurt week one, but their wide receiving core has looked not strong. It's like, when is he going to like cultivate this relationship? And that's the last thing you really want to add, you know, as far as media attention goes right now, is your one and one the biggest question mark you have is not your defense, but it's actually the playmakers, not him, but the wide receiving core. And it's like now all of a sudden the shift is going to be on his dating life. And if I remember the days correctly, you know, there's not much time to do a ton of dating in an NFL season. Yeah. Did you ever throw a line out to somebody famous, Luke? I did, and I just, it was a flushing of catastrophic proportions. <laughs> <laughs> I never have. I, I never have. I kind of wish I have now so I could tell the story, but no. Yeah, you, was, it didn't yeah. go well. Shooters got to shoot, man. You got to take your yeah. shot. I just it like out of the Carolina hurricane thing, it just didn't, it didn't float back then. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I play for the Canes, and it's just, I'm not kidding. It's flushing. It was, uh, it we, was porta potty <laughs> flushing. It was flushing. Yeah, I remember being in L.A., and it was a deep night, and we were at a club, and Carmen Electra walked by. We were upstairs at this, you know, VIP, and I was with a buddy who is retired. He's on TV on the other side, and he, he made a comment, and both of us were like, we are the biggest pigeons. She walked by, and we are like, look at you. Like, I can't remember what it was. Like, it was so – we were the two biggest losers. And right. she just looked at us and was like, how do you guys get into the VIP section? Right. Like, it was beyond – it was beyond embarrassing. The it last was, two guys in the VIP. Oh, it and was, we were was just – at the yeah, height of we were, Carmen Electra. We you got to play it cool, brothers. and if oh, you come yeah. up with some donkey line, they ex- you get exposed. Yeah. It's like it's like not prepping for a game, Luki. You 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 got to be ready in all circumstances. Hundred percent. You got to be ready. Sh- like uh, Hayes said, shoot your shot. But like, mm-hmm. there's the pregame prep. You know, even if the game doesn't happen, you got to be ready to rumble. That's right. No, that's right, man. You got to be ready. <laughs> that's Shooting your shots. Yeah, you got to yeah. do what you got to do, man. <laughs>